Welcome to Canadian Innovators, the show that celebrates innovation, entrepreneurs, and the Canadian spirit. I am Ruth Elizabeth Lewis, stepping in for Jocelyn Bamford. Every week, we introduce a new entrepreneur or expert in their field to tell their story. Today on the program, we are pleased to be joined by Holly Johnston of Vine Group Mortgages. Holly has dedicated over two decades to assisting clients across different industries, including finance, automotive, and fashion and beauty. She's an experienced entrepreneur with a wealth of experience in sales and customer service, and she is committed to finding optimal solutions for all and embodying the philosophy of financing from the heart. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ruth. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You know, Holly, you're someone who has such diverse talent. Can you tell me a little bit about your upbringing and what came before your career in the mortgage business? So I had a pretty unique upbringing. I am the daughter of a banker and a professional wrestler. Quite the combo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little from column A, a little from column B. So I basically took a page out of both of their books. Um, currently, I'm doing more of the financial stuff, being in mortgages. Um, but prior to that, I had done a numerous amount of uh, different careers. I've been, like you said, in fashion and uh, retail. I sold cars for a little bit. I kind of got that hustler attitude from my dad where yeah. uh, just move around, move and shake. Yeah, you're really an experienced entrepreneur, I'd say. Absolutely. I'm a serial entrepreneur, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about what things from your previous experiences that have helped you or influenced your current role? To be honest, I think what it comes down to is helping people and having the customer at top of mind. That's that's ultimately the goal is to be able to help people the best to the best of my ability, regardless of what it is that I'm selling them or helping them do. Right. So when it comes to mortgages, I think that's really helpful for me, because like I said, I'd like to provide financing from the heart. And it is very much a um, process of finding a solution for each individual situation. It's not cut and dry. Every, everybody doesn't fit into the same box. So it requires me to be very creative, but also very aware of my clients and how they all have different needs from one another. Yeah, absolutely. So in order to get to this place, did you have an idol or a mentor that helped you along the way or that you always really looked up to? You know what? I've never really had much of an idol. Um, I, I have a mentor right now with my new company. Uh, she's amazing. She's so inspirational. She's so knowledgeable. And she's definitely somebody I look up to now. Um, but apart from my parents, I really just look up to and idolize anybody that is finding themselves in a career where it's something that they love. Anybody that's doing what they love and what they're passionate about and they're making that work, I look up to that. I think that's so admirable. Yeah, I think that's so awesome. So tell me a little bit more about your mentor in mortgages. What kinds of things do you work on together? What kinds of things have you learned from her? To be honest, I feel like, like I said, with mortgages, everything is, everybody's different, right? There's no two situations that end up being exactly the same. And her wealth of knowledge has been very important to my growth. Um, I've been in the industry for about almost three years now, and I've learned a ton on my own and with my previous mentors. However, with her, she's just so, she's so great. And she's so great at breaking things down in a, such a way that you know, it makes you really have to think outside the box and you just sit there and you're like, wow, how did you come to that? But it's her through her years of experience in the industry that she's able to come up with those solutions and teach me how to get there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned your parents as well and that you have inspiration from sort of two different sides, that very business mindset and then that creative anything goes kind of thing with your dad that yeah. must have been so interesting growing up absolutely absolutely and again that's something I very much ad or admired about him is the fact that he he had a passion he always wanted to be a wrestler and he grew up with that and that's what he made sure that he was able to do he did a lot of other things on the side as well but that was his passion and that was his his number one that's really interesting and I'm sure that in his role he had to do a lot of self-promotion and things like that Absolutely. that maybe I don't even know if you give yourself enough credit for for how much you do that as well. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a big part of being in this it kind is. of business is you have to know the uh, business side and then the advertising side yep. as well. Holly, this has been a really, really awesome introduction to the work that you do. I'm really looking forward to getting a little bit more into what you do in the mortgage business. 
We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we'll ask Holly a little bit more about the specifics of her role as a mortgage agent and how the current difficult market is impacting her industry. Thanks again, Holly. Thank you.